those who encourage the use of English at the expense of the Malay language are doing so because they are still trapped in the colonial mindset, says past president Abdul Hadi Awang. He said such Malaysians seem to be embarrassed to use their national language and placed greater importance on English. He said they are behaving like slaves to the former colonial masters despite having been freed from their clutches. He told the people to ignore these delirious voices which are trying to reduce the importance of the Malay language. Hadi said these groups were so bent on promoting English that they conducted meetings and made announcements whether on the ground or in flights using the language. He added that many signboards, advertisements and road signs are still in English, adding that some roads even have English names although the majority in the area are not proficient in the language. Last month, the government announced that the Dewan Bahasa dan Pustaka Act 1959 will be amended to enable authorities to take action against those who disrespect the national language by imposing a fine of up to 50,000 ringgit or a jail term. Previously, former International Trade and Industry Minister Rafida Aziz was among those who criticized the government directive to civil servants to use the Malay language in all local and foreign correspondences. Prime Minister Ismail Sabri Yaakob defended this move, saying it was to strengthen the Malay language. He added that there was also no reason for Malaysians not to be capable of using the national language.